Finally home, huh? Pretty late considering that you came straight here from work, isn't it, love? Oh, really? Now, just why would the roads be closed on a beautiful night like this? No storm, no news reports of accidents, absolutely nothing. So, please explain to me, because I cannot fathom how the roads would be closed right now. I see. Now, love, why would you try to lie to me like that? Surely you know it won't get you anywhere. Just what were you trying to hide from me? Those streets weren't closed and we both know it. I bet you were going off with other guys. That's right, isn't it? They don't get to have you, love. You're all mine, always and forever. And if they can't keep their hands off of you, they're going to have to disappear. What? You don't want that. Oh, love, you don't get a choice. I can't let anyone else have any part of you. <laughs> Tell me, love, what was it you were really doing out this late? Well, you see, love, I don't know if I can believe in you anymore. Were the streets closed, or did you have to work after to compensate for your idiot co-workers? Or maybe you did have to work longer, but you had to do a different job. Are you sure? Because you know I'll kill anyone who lays a hand on you. Your body belongs to me. Your body belongs to me. No one is allowed to blemish it with their disgusting touch. I'm being ridiculous. Whatever do you mean? It's natural for me to want to keep you away from everyone else. I love you so much, I can't allow you to fall for anyone else. Cause then I'd have to kill them and neither of us wants that. Now do we? I thought so. Oh, don't cry, love. You know it only makes you cuter. Do you promise that nothing happened? Would you stake the lives of all your co-workers on it? All right, then. Good girl. I made dinner. Your favorite. Better hurry, though. It's getting cold. Oh, there's no need to thank me, love. This is what a boyfriend is for, after all. Giving you food and lots of love. Go on, try it. How does it taste? Mmm. Good. Don't worry, you're probably just dizzy from work. No? Oh. Well then, maybe it's just the fentanyl I put in your food. <laughs> Finally awake, are we? Had a nice nap, love. Honestly, just what did you expect? You can't get away with what you did tonight without some punishment. So who was it? Whose filthy hands soiled your skin? Was it Tyler? Or what about Mark? Neither? Well... I know it was somebody, and you're going to tell me who, if you ever want to leave the house again. Of course, 
I can do that to you. I may not have any fancy degree, but what do you think I was doing while you were getting yours? I've wanted you for years, love. I had to make sure you would be mine. It's fate that brought us together, and I'm not going to let it tear us apart. So, for years, I've watched you learn and grow and make friends. I know everything about you. Your hobbies, your fears, every friend you ever had. And I made sure to protect you from any problem that could arise. Any man who would dare to think he was good enough for my girl. I always made sure you were happy and safe. And yet you repay me like this? By letting those disgusting creatures take advantage of you? But no way. It wasn't your fault. You would never do anything like that to me, right? It's just that you want to protect them. But it's okay, love. I'm just keeping you safe. Something as precious as you must be kept hidden. Locked away from the world. From the impurities that lie within humanity. I'm the only one who deserves you. No one else could ever love you the way that I do. Don't try to scream. Nobody's going to hear you. Besides, I would never hurt you, love. I'm not evil. So just calm down and tell me who the fuck thought they could mess with me. Just because I won't hurt you doesn't mean I won't hurt other people. Insane. No, dear. You're mistaken. I'm not insane. Just in love. So just admit it. I won't be mad. No, not you, anyway. Because you would never betray me. Right, love? You can tell me, and then we can forget about all of this. You'll never have to worry about that man trying to touch you again. We'll be happy together. Just the two of us. All you have to do is tell me his name. Nothing more. Just a few letters, and then you'll be free from this chair and this house. We can go on a date at that new restaurant that opened downtown, if you want. Or we can stay here and Netflix and chill for a while. Or you can stay locked down here forever and ever, so that I know you'll always be safe from those assholes outside. It's your choice, so I'll give you some time to think on it. See you in a couple of hours. <laughs>